2025 will be the year of AI, drones, podcasts, and investments. These are the trends that everyone should look out for. Our first prediction is that Meta may well emerge as the leading AI powerhouse. At the first glance, this might come as a surprise, especially given the publicity surrounding AI-focused companies like OpenAI or Google's DeepMind. But when it comes to the raw ingredients for building advanced AI, Meta has two massive advantages, data and hardware. Meta's platforms, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and more, host activity from 9 out of 10 global internet users outside of China. That's an impressive reservoir of human language data, social interactions, and consumer behavior. The more data you can feed an AI model, the better it generally performs. On the hardware side, Meta has purchased a large number of NVIDIA's Hopper GPUs, second only to Microsoft in the US. This GPU capacity isn't just for show, it allows Meta to train and deploy next generation models faster and more efficiently. All signs point to an AI arms race, and Meta seems primed to come out on top. Podcasts are a fast-growing medium, and the numbers tell a compelling story. Of the 3.2 million podcasts out there, only around 600,000 update content on a weekly basis, and an elite 600 or so, what you would call economically viable. That might sound small, but it underscores how significant the opportunity is for top-tier shows. The audience is massive, and crucially, the listener base tends to be more engaged and often more affluent than traditional radio or television audiences. Despite this, podcasting's share of ad dollars still trails its share of total media consumption. As advertisers catch up, that gap is expected to shrink substantially, driving ad revenue growth of 20% or more in 2025. You can already see political figures seeking out potential podcasters, because a single big appearance cannot perform the reach of multiple cable news segments. For brands and investors, podcasting represents a direct line to high-value niche audiences, an increasingly rare commodity in today's media landscape. It might sound odd to call nuclear the technology of 2025, but the reasoning here is straightforward. Energy is the underpinning of our increasingly digital world. Every chat GPT query you make can demand 10 times the energy of a standard Google search. And that's on top of the power already required to keep data centers humming. While wind and solar have incredible strides, the scalability and reliability offered by nuclear power are unmatched. A single nuclear reactor can produce as much as 800 wind turbines or over 8 million solar panels, and it does so without generating carbon emissions. Yes, nuclear power has its share of PR challenges. Think of the historical accidents that shape public perception, but the data tells a different story about its overall safety and waste footprint. If we are serious about powering a next-generation AI-driven economy while minimizing carbon emissions, nuclear energy may finally get its moment in the spotlight. Wars often act as incubators for groundbreaking technologies, and drones have emerged as the star of recent military conflicts, particularly the war in Ukraine. Ukrainian forces have used low-cost drones to disable or destroy far more expensive assets, flipping the usual economics of warfare on its head. In the civilian sphere, the same technology is rapidly evolving to deliver packages, assist in search and rescue operations, and even provide last-mile transportation for urgent medical supplies. As AI, 3D printing, and high-resolution cameras converge, drones are becoming cheaper, smarter, and more capable by the day. Imagine fleets of aerial vehicles autonomously monitoring crops for optimal harvest times, or swiftly delivering essential goods to remote regions where infrastructure is minimal. That future is closer than we might think, and while there are still plenty of regulatory hurdles to clear, the potential efficiency gains for businesses and life-saving benefits for emergency services make drones one of the most exciting frontiers of 2025. Turning to the global economy, 
emerging markets are poised to offer significant investment opportunities by 2025. The US stock market has been the dominant force, making up 50% of the total global market cap. However, historical data shows that when US equities cool off, emerging markets often heat up. Furthermore, demographics are on the side of countries like India and Indonesia, where working age populations are still growing fast, driving robust productivity and consumption. Another key factor at play is the Federal Reserve's interest rate decisions. Emerging markets tend to benefit when there is a cut in US rates, often outperforming developing markets by noticeable margins. Add to that the sheer amount of institutional capital that's historically underinvested in these regions. There is an estimated 910 billion of potential inflows. If you're looking for opportunities that combine rising consumer classes, favorable demographic trends, and a probable shift in global capital allocations, emerging markets could be the ticket for the next decade. When people think of streaming wars, Netflix often come to mind. But a closer look reveals that YouTube may be the real winner. Why? Unlike Netflix, which spends billions on creating content, YouTube basically acts as a platform where creators foot the content bill and in turn gets a revenue share from ads. This low content cost model has propelled YouTube to capture an astonishing 10% of the TV viewing. YouTube's appeal is especially potent among younger audiences, Gen Alpha in particular. In surveys, a higher percentage of kids name YouTube as their go-to entertainment source, surpassing subscription-based services and even popular social media platforms like TikTok. Additionally, YouTube's emergence as the top podcast platform introduces another revenue stream, serving both video and audio audiences. If Alphabet ever spun off YouTube, the platform alone would likely be worth hundreds of billions of dollars, solidifying its position as a formidable media juggernaut in 2025 and beyond. Next up is a concept many are calling palindrome, which is short for service as a software. At its heart, this trend is about taking traditionally labor-intensive services, think about customer service, compliance, accounting, and other back-office tasks, and embedding them into AI-powered platforms. The big shift here is that these tasks will become more scalable with less reliance on human labor. What does this mean in practice? Imagine a future where a small startup armed with robust AI can take on as many customers as a company three times its size, because repetitive tasks like invoicing, customer onboarding, or basic legal compliances are handled by intelligent software. On the customer front, we might see an explosion of user-friendly AI applications that handle everyday tasks with minimal human intervention. It's more than just fancy chatbots. It's the promise of streamlined operations across every sector. Ultimately, companies that can seamlessly integrate AI layers into their processes will likely gain a competitive advantage and reshape entire industry in the process. Fast fashion typically conjures up images of big box retailers churning out seasonal styles at lightning speed. But Sheen has taken the concept to a new extreme. Where many retailers put out 100 new designs per week, Sheen releases 7,000 styles a day. This breakneck output is powered by advanced data analytics and a network of third-party manufacturers, allowing Sheen to constantly gauge consumer preferences and deliver new items with minimal delay. A significant part of Shein's edge is its asset light model. It doesn't own the factories or the trucks, it owns the software that coordinates them. Returns, which can destroy margins for most retailers, are almost negligible because the items are so cheap, many customers don't bother sending them back. This leads to an astronomical revenue per employee ratio, comparable to other asset light tech behemoths. If Sheen goes public in 2025, as some predict, this could mark as one of the biggest, most influential IPOs of the decade. In the realm of AI, two names dominate right now, OpenAI and NVIDIA, sometimes jokingly referred to as OpenVIDIA. 
The AI ecosystem generally comprises three layers. The application, like Tesla's self-driving or Duolingo's language tutoring. The models, like those produced by AI or Anthropic. And the infrastructure, where NVIDIA's hardware and cloud services like AWS reign supreme. OpenAI has seen its revenue double in just half a year, fueled by ChatGPT subscription that continue to draw in millions of users. On the other side, NVIDIA's revenue has just hit a jaw-dropping 96 billion, quadruple its 2022 numbers, with research citations of NVIDIA hardware surpassing all competitors by a factor of 19. This early dominance in AI is extremely unusual and suggests a self-reinforcing cycle. Better infrastructure enables more advanced applications, which in turn drive demand for specialized hardware. If you are looking for a sign that AI isn't just another tech fad, Open Video might be it. Finally, let's look at mergers and acquisitions (M&A). Private equity is sitting on roughly four trillion in dry powder, and corporations have another 4.1 trillion in cash reserves. However, M&A deals have been taking longer to close. On average, it takes 161 days for deal makers in the US, and even longer, up to 323 days for transactions exceeding 10 billion. The culprit? The regulatory environment that has become more stringent about antitrust issues and big consolidations. But that could change depending on the political climate in 2025. As a more business-friendly administration is taking over, and the regulators might soften its stance. We will see a resurgence in high-profile deals. Companies like Comcast, Uber, or even Musk's empire are often floated as potential buyers or sellers in these mega deals. There is also speculation that giants like Intel or Boeing could be taken private, a move that would shake entire industries. In short, keep your eyes on M&A if you want a front row seat to economic transformation in 2025. If you would like to support us, consider subscribing to our channel and leave a like and comment below. See you in the next one.